going to show you how you can add a light box slide to the top of your storyline player. This is a really nice feature if you've got some content that you want learners to be able to get to from wherever they might happen to be in your course. So right now we're looking at this real quick mock-up where we've got a you know content slide and a menu over here and some stuff on our player. And one of the things that we've added is this company info tab right up here in the upper right. And if I click on that, it's going to display some additional content. And this is actually just another storyline slide that I created, but we've caused it to appear as a light box. And because it's just a storyline slide, it can contain whatever we want. I've just got some static information here, but you could include a video, you could include animations, narration, anything that you could include on any other slide, you can include in a light box slide just like this one. And then when we're done looking at this, we can click the red X to clear it. And then we're back at the slide that we were viewing a couple seconds ago. So let's see how we can create this in Storyline. Here's my sample course. I've just got these three uh, content slides over here in this first scene. And what I did is I created a separate new scene. And in that scene, I've put this slide that I want to appear as a light box on my player. Now, you wouldn't necessarily have to put it in its own scene like this, but I kind of like to organize things that way because then it's easy for me to see, um, especially in story view here, you know, that this slide right here, it's kind of a separate deal. It's not something that I want to mix in with my other content or, you know, I don't want to accidentally link to it from some other slide or whatever. So what I'm going to do now is go to my player properties and you can get there by coming up to the home tab and clicking on the player button. And with the, when the player properties manager appears, um, this section right over here on the features section, there's this um, list called player tabs and that's going to list all the player tabs that are active on my player. The ones that are active are the ones with the check marks here. And the cool thing about Storyline is that you can add tabs of your own. You're not limited to just the built-in ones, you know, called Resources, Menu, Glossary, and Notes. So we're going to go ahead and add one by clicking on this Add button right down here. And when this Trigger Wizard window pops up, as you can see, the tab that we add is really just going to be a form of a trigger. So in this Name field here is where we get to say what we want to call this tab. And I'm going to call mine Company Info. And then we can fill out the trigger wizard. We get to pick the location. We get to choose top bar left or top bar right. I'm going to choose the right. And then here's the action where we choose to light box a slide. And then we indicate which slide we want to light box. And it's that one that we you know, put in its own scene. And we want that to happen when the user clicks on the tab that we just created. OK, so it's pretty simple to fill that out. Then we just click OK. And now that we've done that, right up here, you can see that the company info tab now appears in the upper right of our player. Now, if we wanted it to move over, like if you've got other tabs here, like resources or maybe even a couple more that you've created, all you would need to do is come over here to the list of player tabs and select it. And then you can click these blue arrows here to move it up or down. So if we click once to move it up, it's going to be um, before the resources tab so that it moves over one slot. So that's kind of nice, kind of cool that you can reorganize things if you want to. Okay, one more thing you'll probably want to do is if you only want that light box content to be viewable this way by the learner clicking on the tab, is you probably want to remove it from your player menu if you're using a menu on your player. So to do that, we're going to click on the menu button and right here, this light box item, this is the scene that contains our light box. And that's what we really don't want to appear in the menu. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom and click on this red X to delete it. And when you do that, you're going to get um, this message here asking, would you like to keep this item's children? <laughs> and this has nothing to do with actual children. So don't feel bad about clicking remove. It just means that everything, you know, within this level, basically everything one level in when you select an item that's, you know, over like this means everything below it's going to get removed. And that's what we want. So we'll go ahead and click remove. And now it disappears from our list and it also disappears from our preview over here. So now let's go ahead and um, preview our whole course and make sure that this looks the way we want. So here's the preview and our menu over here doesn't have our light box slide in it. And up here in the upper right is where we added the tab. So we'll click on that and there's our light box. So that's how you can add a light box slide from the top bar right or the top bar left of your player.